Well, good Saturday morning to everyone. Uh, look what we have here. Pittsburgh Views in his <laughs> BMW M4. He's taking it out, ladies and gentlemen. And he's not even in the car. Where is he? He's got a bike on top of it, though. I know that much. I mean, I honestly have no idea where he is. I'm assuming he went into CVS, but let's see if his door's open. No. Look at this contraption he has here. Sea sucker. That's pretty cool, man. I like that. I don't really do bikes, though, but it's still pretty cool. There he is. What's up, Michael? What is up, Brian? How you doing? And the humidity. Oh, the humidity <laughs> is real up in here. So, uh, what time is it now? It is now 8:35 a.m. It's supposed to look at my lens is like humidity. Oh up. yeah, geez, please. Hopefully we're focused now. But today is supposed to be 100 degrees outside, and like humidity. Know, it's yeah, it's gonna be hot. Every year this is the hottest day of the year. I don't know why. It's that time. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. So we're going to the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix. Shenley Park. I like your little contraption here. Yeah, I figure I gotta get a little extra flair since I'm park around all the exotics. All right, let's leave. Well, perfect way to start the morning. We got a tunnel, boys, which is always packed. Blurring of the speedometer in three, two, one. Come on, Brian. Go, you're in a tunnel. Come on, man. is life. Pittsburgh. That looks, that looks I know. It's amazing. <laughs> Cortilla. Yeah, something. Yep, go ahead. All right, cool. All right, we're here, and we got nice company. Check it out. Mike, Cheers. what's up? I thought you were flying to Prague or some shit like that. You know you had to be here. See, I hate this. There we go. Check this out, my buddy got Jaws on Instagram, standing right over there. They just picked up this 911R. This is number 740 of 991 made in the world, but it's the only one in the world with the BP livery. So this is something BP had to sign off on, head of Porsche and everything. So you will not find another 911R in the world with this livery right here. Pretty sick. And our good friend Doc, look at that, he brought out the 50 year Anniversario Aventador and he also has the Performante sitting right over here. What would you guys pick? The Performante, beautiful, Viola Parsifay. By the way, if you haven't seen that, I drove this car last year in the Malibu Canyon. It's absolutely amazing. I'll link that video down below. But the Performante or the Aventador, this thing is just sick. <laughs> It's a spider, I absolutely love it. I've ridden in it, never driven it though, but there's something about Aventadors, man. They got a presence, a curb appeal that my beloved F12 over there does not really quite have, but yeah. All right, so we're gonna go check out the new GT500. Oh, and here it is, ladies and gentlemen, check it out. Wow. First time I'm seeing the new GT500, and this thing looks like a beast. Yeah, this is sick. Oof, look at the carbon fiber wheels. Yeah, man, this thing is serious. Mike, check out the wheels. I know. 
Dude, that is sick. The carbon. They're big off. I mean, that is sick. Those are the sickest wheels I've ever seen, I think. And they're on a Ford. Got the big carbon wing. I mean, look at the side skirts. Like, what is that extra little side skirt there? I've never seen that before. Baby stuff for you. Yeah. <laughs> Just don't, like, accidentally step on it. Yeah. Here we have 760 horse. Oh, sorry, dude. 760 horsepower, 625 pound feet of torque. We can't do much else but just walk around it. I guess we'll get some uh, nice cinematic shots here. to get this here, but the seats in the new GT500 are amazing. You got carbon in the interior. Yeah, this is nice. Just the wheels alone, they're like $12,000 a pop. So you can understand why this is a $100,000 car. With the performance and everything you get, it's actually worth it. It's not a bad price at all. So bad news is it's been over 100 degrees all day. Now it's actually only 98 degrees. I've been sweating to death. Good news is, we got more tunnels, ladies and gentlemen. More bad news is we got a lot of traffic as well. At least we're in a tunnel. <laughs> oh yeah. It's not going very fast, but it sounds good. And just like that, it's sunny and dry again. It's a crazy, crazy summer that we're having here in Pittsburgh, PA. If you follow this channel, you know in the beginning of 72.3% of my videos, I usually have a mandatory weather report where we talk about the weather and if it's sunny, I'm very happy. If it's snowing, I bitch whine and cry a lot because I hate the winter. I love the summer, but the past two days here, oof, it has been so hot. And it's not really just the temperature, it's also the amount of humidity. It's been absolutely crazy. So PGVP, the Pittsburgh Vintage Grand Prix, was awesome. But most of the time we were sitting in our tent, which was also hot, but at least we didn't get sun. Actually went out a second time today, but we didn't really do anything uh, different from yesterday, so I didn't really film that. And I know we haven't had any specific content on the channel on the truck since it came back home. It's just because of the videos that we've been making were involving the F12, but I know you guys are longing, you're waiting for another cult start, of course. You're probably not, but I am. It's so loud. Yeah, definitely can't continue the video with that thing being on, but <laughs> before we do continue the video, however, Quick update here for anyone living in the California area, specifically Los Angeles and Monterey slash Carmel. My wife and I were coming to California for car week and uh, I hope that I can meet up with a lot of you guys that live down there. We're gonna do fuel run. So on the 14th, the morning the 14th, as I put you guys down there, make it out to, of course I forget what this freaking parking lot is called now, but just Google fuel run and you'll see where we're starting from in Malibu. Come there, say hi, uh, watch all the cars take off. It's gonna be absolutely awesome. F12 is gonna be there, we're shipping out the car. I'm super excited for this. I'm excited for my wife to experience it as well. Those are just gonna be super nervous during the rally. <laughs> and then we're having a lunch stop in Morro Bay. I don't know exactly where that's at, but it's like halfway to Carmel and then we get to Monterey Carmel area around 5 p.m. on the 14th and then we're gonna spend a few days there before we fly home so make sure if you live in that area come out and say hi so I thought we'd talk about my uh, AMG the C63 the second one that is the first one by the way the new owner he actually still owns the car and 
he lives down in Florida. So I've been trying to combine it with me going down to Florida to go in and seeing him and then making a video. One time I was going to do it, but uh, he had to go travel. So I couldn't do it that time, but I I'm thinking that hopefully I can set it up with him and make a dedicated trip down to Florida just to make a video on the first C63, the hydro locked one. But in today's video, we're going to talk about the second one, the one that I traded in for the F12, the one that's been on the channel the longest, the one that we made tons of content with. Because I've had a lot of people reach out asking me, you know, is the car for sale? You know, can I buy it? You know, where is it? And I've told a couple people, because this is what I was told initially, there was a wholesaler who picked it up. I can't remember where he was located, but uh, anyhow, I was told that he, he bought it pretty quick. And uh, so I've been telling people that no, it's not for sale. But now, uh, just recently, I got news that he actually backed out of that deal because somehow he stumbled upon my YouTube channel. I don't know if someone told him, like, that's the car or whatever. So he went through my videos and he backed out on the deal with Marshall Goldman. He got apparently kind of upset saying that the car was abused. So he didn't want it anymore. Now, we're... We're still trying to figure out what he means by abused. Because if you've been watching my videos, you know that I didn't abuse that car. I mean, I babied it. It was my baby. So I took very well care of it. Now, I covered, you know, the full ownership experience. Yeah, did the radiator break at one point? Yes. Did I get a flat tire? Yes. Did we modify it? Yes. But did it, like, majorly break? Was it in an accident? Yeah, a little fender bender. So is it that little incident he's referring to that we were in a fender bender just before I was supposed to trade the car in? You all know about that. I made a whole video. I'll link it in the description if you're interested in checking it out. But the, the car's been fixed. So it's just as good as it was before that happened. Or maybe... Who knows? Maybe he, you know, saw some videos on the first AMG <laughs> and doesn't understand that that's an old car. Um, and yes, it did hydrolock. I mean, that was horrible. I mean, I can understand if he was like, eh, you know, I don't want that car, even though it was fixed, maybe. I don't know. But that's obviously not the same car. So I, I don't really know what happened there. I don't know what he's referring to when he's saying that the car was abused because it definitely was not abused. It was used well i mean i traveled with it took it to california miami we drove it and you know enjoyed it but abused no it was definitely not abused took very well care of that car fully serviced now did i maybe wash it one too many times yeah maybe but i don't know i don't know if you can call that abused but anyhow i thought i would mention this because it would be really cool if one of my subscribers that possibly were in the market for you know, a C63 and let you guys know that the car is currently for sale, at least currently at Marshall Goldman. I'll put the link to my car in the description. So for anyone that is interested, the car is for sale. Now it doesn't have the latest iteration of the wheel setup that we did, the S15s from Bellas Design Works. Uh, it, it's sitting on the stock wheels, but it is currently lowered. And to my knowledge, it still has the catless downpipes. It still has to tune. Like I said, it's not completely re reverted back to stock, so it's tuned. It's got the downpipes, got the amazing sound. It's got the 630-ish, whatever it is, crank horsepower, very fast. And uh, yeah, it's available. So for anyone out there that is interested in that car, it's up for grabs. That is by far the car that I've had the closest relationship out of any car that I've owned before. So I mean, I have, you guys know already, I don't have to sit here and repeat myself. I absolutely love that car. So just thought I'd mention that in today's video here for anyone that is interested. And if you watch this video and you pick that car up, let me know. That'd be great if we could meet up, possibly do a video together. Not everyone wants to be on camera. I fully understand that. But if you would be interested in that, I would as well. It would probably be an emotional moment for me a little bit. Not that I would stand there and cry for days or anything, but, you know, seeing that car. I'm, see, I'm turning around. I'm so used to it sitting in the garage here. Now I have my, my new baby here. But, yeah, it would be so awesome to see that car again. So, for anyone that's seeing this, the car is available. 22-ish uh, thousand miles on it. It would be really awesome to have the C63 and the F12 next to each other. And uh, speaking of the F12, I've mentioned many times now that we have wheels. The lowering kit is already here, but the wheels are coming 
late next week and my car is being shipped out late next week so I'm semi you know stressed about that I want to be able to have the, the wheels and the lowering kit on before it's shipped out to California we're also gonna get it wrapped but that's gonna be when I come back we also have a proper exhaust and when I say proper I mean proper just cover your eardrums that's all I can say but that's gonna happen after car week as well either way I'm very excited to get the f12 down to California so for anyone that wants to see it in LA or Monterey it's gonna be there from la la la, I can't remember the exact dates but I'll be posting on Instagram and stuff like that so if you're not following me on Instagram yet go ahead and do so but that's gonna do it for today's upload I hope you guys enjoyed it if you did you know what to do if you're stopping by for the first time and you haven't already and you want to feel free to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video bye bye